It's the night before the Raleigh National Model Railway Exhibition and Pete Waterman getting ready to put on a good show. This is a big stun. This is a With nearly 20,000 visitors to the NEC every year, it's the biggest model railway fair in the country. The one you trap your hands in. This is serious business. Pete's hoping to inspire a whole new generation of model makers. Well, this is a big family show. I mean, today's kid that plays with his Hornby is, you know, in 10 years' time, he's looking for, you know, quality models like we make, you know. Well, we hope so. It's only hours until the doors open, but there's still a lot to do. Pete's getting a tour from the organiser. How many shows have you had here at the NEC? This is the 18th at the NEC. So well, I've missed one. 1993, you missed one. You were swanning around the world with one of your... Oh, I went to the Kylie in Australia. It's a hard one. It's a hard one. It's a hard one. Model railway clubs like Worley started a hundred years ago as a place where like-minded people could meet and build model trains together. But Pete's worried that people under 50 aren't interested. So he's got 24 hours to recruit the next generation of modelers. It's the day of the big opening, and it looks like being another busy Wally show. I, I come here because I enjoy watching the model and railways and the trains go around. And which one are you waiting for the man to start? The green one and the white one. Well, I actually like models, being able to build them, and just thinking of the finishing picture. The kids are loving the exhibition so far, and Pete Stand seems to have caught their attention. When did you actually start your railway? Um, about four years ago. What's your oldest engine? My oldest engine? I have an engine that was built the year I was born, which is 1947. We have a laugh with the kids, in truth. Uh, I think it's all a bit too much for them. It's a bit, you know, we just, just pull their legs and, and have a bit of fun. Their granddads and their dads think it's funny, you know. Uh, and they get, they, they get hooked. It's an impressive start from Pete. The youngsters leave happy and the sales pitch continues. There can be better, no better time to get into model railways than that. The quality of the models is better, the facilities are better. Well. They're actually cheaper now than they used to be. So everything's going for us. Let's go and talk to somebody who knows all about it. Pete's desperate to know if he should be worried, and the editor of Britain's best selling model railway magazine, The Railway Modeler, should be able to help. It's pretty tight generally, I mean, it's financially for most families. Yeah, so, so we're here, yeah, yeah. It doesn't look like that here, does it? Well, it's a boom time for modern railways. Ten years ago, of course, everybody thought this was all over. Thought, Ten years ago, everybody said model railway finished. Yeah, because they thought they thought the uh, computer generation, computer generation would, would would be would be bought by it. But it, in reality, the computer, the digital world, hasn't really had an impact yet. We're still very much out there in the front, as we almost have been. This is great news. Computers aren't stopping new recruits. But there's no rest for Waterman. His crusade continues. The biggest thing that's changed is the quality of the modelling. Things have moved on so far. Our grandfathers, and even my dad would have never believed we could achieve it. I'm going to take you and show you something that's taking modelling one stage further. This is the most famous model railway of them all and it's made by the oldest society in the world, the original Model Railway Club, 100 years old this year. And now for my very favourite riot, Copenhagen Fields. Well, as you can see, it's uh, a bit busy and I can't really get near it. But being famous has its advantages because 
I know a man that works it, so just follow me. Now there are layouts, and then there's Copenhagen Field. Tim, how are you? Very good, very good, thank Can't you. Can't get into the front with all these people, but that is a problem. I'll come round and look I'm working it. That is a problem we have, yeah. 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 Now this is a fantastic layout. How long ago did you start this? Uh, we started in 1984, we started cutting timber for it, and so it's on its sort of 25th anniversary of its first public showing, and it's still not finished. But for the people at home, let me tell you, this is not just a layout, this, is, this was revolutionary. This was the start of something different. Well, we pulled very long trains on the, on the layout, 16 coaches, big, big express trains, because it's the main line, it's the main line out of yeah. Kings Cross. Pete wants young modelers to dream of building a layout like this. So he's going to see a railway that's been made entirely by kids. And here we have the junior modelers. Gonna be a disaster, lads, was it there? Yeah. Nearly. What happened? The carriage to the rail, okay? Happens a lot though, hey, I thought you supposed to be great modellers. Didn't you just say it never happens? Yeah, it never happens, you say, that's what he said. He really wants there to be more clubs like this, where children can come together and enjoy building model railways. Amazing. <laughs> Text me back this. I mean, you know, right here, they're having fun. Not arguing with each other. Left their sister at home to go shopping with their mum. Brilliant. The happy junior modellers reassure Pete that he's on the right track. But what about other visitors to the show? Are they enjoying the train? Absolutely amazing what's on show. I can't believe people can put this together. I saw this Japanese layout where, where the carry's on fire. Like all good things, the model railway show has to come to an end. So is Pete any less worried about the future of modelling? So that's it, wall is over. Once again, fantastic show for me. Shoes are a bit tight, but there you go. It's just great to see kids enjoying themselves. I know they'll go home from here tonight, take their train sets out, play with them, and they won't switch their computer on. Fantastic year at Wallis. We'd love to have your thoughts.